and I have a statement related to the missing four men case that we've been working that you all have been following. <clears throat> the human remains recovered from the Deep Fork River at the Sharp Road Bridge have been positively identified as Mark Chastain, Billy Chastain, Mike Sparks, and Alex Stevens. Although the official cause and manner of death is still pending, each victim suffered gunshot wounds. All four bodies were dismembered before being placed in the river, and that is what caused difficulty in determining identity, and that's why it took so long. I got the call about 10 o'clock last night. The river appears to be a dump site. This investigation is now a murder investigation. Investigators worked all weekend recovering the bodies from the river and sifting through information obtained during the missing persons portion of the investigation. Based on information obtained during the course of the investigation, we believe the men planned to commit some type of criminal act when they left the residence on West 6th Street. That belief is based on information supplied by a witness who reports they were invited to go with the men to quote unquote, hit a lick big enough for all of them. We do not know what they planned or where they planned to do it. Task force officers continue to investigate and will do so until all leads are exhausted. A very methodical search was conducted Saturday at the salvage yard on 20th Street, as well as surrounding properties. Nothing remarkable was observed inside the salvage yard, but evidence of a violent event was discovered on an adjoining property. The owner of both salvage yards, Joe Kennedy, is considered a person of interest, but no charges have been filed. Investigators would like to speak with him again. Mr. Kennedy was reported missing Saturday night and may be suicidal. He is last believed to be driving a blue Chrysler PT Cruiser bearing Oklahoma license LSA245. During the missing person portion of the investigation, we were very liberal with information releases in an attempt to find the men. Once the investigation changed to a murder investigation, we will be much more conservative with information to protect the integrity of the investigation. Um, I want to recognize the agencies that have assisted so far with the body recovery and Saturday search, the District Attorney's Violent Crime Task Force, the OSBI, the Oklahoma Highway Patrol Boat Team, Light Horse Police, the FBI, the Omagi Fire Department, and Omagi County Emergency Management, as well as City of Omagi Emergency Management. That is the conclusion of my statement. I will respond to questions that you, if you have any. When you say they were going to get a lick, are we talking about drugs? Are we talking about copper? Or? We have no idea. We have no idea. That is common terminology for engaging in some type of criminal behavior, but we do not know what they were planning or where they plan to do it. Will we get a picture of Mr. Kennedy here pretty soon? Will you send that out? Um, Mr. Kennedy is a person of interest that we would like to talk to and currently not a suspect. I probably won't release his photo and, unless and until he is named a suspect. When is the last time y'all spoke to Mr. Kennedy? Friday afternoon. What are you telling the families about just kind of working this case and how you're trying to get them answers? All of the information that I just provided you, I provided the family earlier this morning um, I have assured them that nothing changes except the focus of the investigation. Um, we have worked around the clock all week. We were out all weekend and we will continue to work at the same pace that we've been working to try to find out um, exactly what happened to their loved ones and who did it. Have you found the bicycles yet? We have not. We, we still are missing the bicycles and unfortunately I have no description of the bicycles. Um, at least one, and we believe all of the boys had multiple bicycles, and um, there's no way to know which ones they were on. Have you recovered the weapon, the uh, gun used in shooting? We have not. Do you know what type of weapon it was, handgun, rifle? I'm not releasing that information. Should I, if I see Mr. Kennedy, Am I in danger? Is the community in danger with him out there? I don't have any evidence to indicate that Mr. Kennedy is a threat to anyone else. Um, but I would use caution 
If anyone sees Mr. Kennedy, please call the local authorities. Can you tell us what evidence was recovered at the second salvage yard or property nearby? Uh, we're not releasing that yet. Have you ever in your tenure had something like this before? I, I've worked over 80 murders um, in my career. I have worked murders involving multiple victims. I have worked dismemberments, but this case involves the highest number of victims um, and it's a very violent event. So I can't say that I've never worked anything like it, but um, it's right up there at the top. Is there reason to believe that the uh, um, victims were uh, placed in the river uh, on Sunday evening? I, I don't know that I can give you a firm answer. It would take a considerable amount of time um, to put the bodies in the condition that they were and then dump them in the river. So my best estimate would be late Sunday night, early, early Monday morning. When you said on CNN over the weekend the bodies have been, appeared to be in the water for a while, or, what, did the water do anything to the condition of these bodies to make your investigation harder? Is that what you said? Water always affects decomposition. And depending on temperature, depending on the current flow, there's a lot of different factors that do that. And I would defer to forensic pathologists to better explain that than I. Um, whenever water is involved, it makes it much more difficult to identify evidence. And we have to be, we are methodical at every scene, but we have to be extra methodical when we're dealing with a body of water because it's so easy to miss evidence. When you last spoke with Mr. Kennedy, was he cooperative? What was his state of mind like? He appeared to be cooperative. He was not um, antagonistic. Is that property where the event happened, is that his property as well or just the salvage? No, it is not his property. Um, that property belongs to their, the property surrounding the salvage yard and maybe for ease, um, I have since discovered that uh, Mr. Kennedy referred to the South 75 location as the salvage yard and the 20th Street location as the scrap yard, which may make it easier to keep track of what we're talking about. So the scrap yard belonged to Mr. Kennedy. The um, property surrounding the scrap yard belongs to three different businesses. And that, that property you're talking about is the one where the violent event looks that, like That's correct. It was on one of the other pieces of property. Did these men have a relationship with Mr. Kennedy before? Were they employees? Are they relatives of any kind? Not that I'm aware of. Mr. Kennedy has denied knowing them. And obviously I can't ask the victims, but um, I don't have any reason to believe that there was any pre-existing relationship. With them being cut up into pieces, is there a chance somebody's going to find something down the creek or something like that? Or do you believe you have recovered everything? I believe this morning we recovered the last piece um, we recovered the majority of the remains friday night we made an additional recovery yesterday and we recovered what i believe is the last piece this morning were the bodies tied down to weight them down in the river or were they just kind of falling free? i didn't see any evidence that there was an attempt to weight them down now with four men and one person of interest do you think he may have, whoever did this, may have been alone or received help? Whenever I conduct an investigation, I always develop theories, but I don't publicize those until I have evidence to support them. At this point, I don't have any evidence of anyone else being involved. Have you spoken with the family members before you met with us, and how are they doing? I did speak with the family members. Um, they were upset. I think that they had already resolved themselves that this was their loved ones, but the additional information about dismemberment was obviously a shock and they were very distraught. What's next? A lot of work. Um, we were still waiting on cellular telephone records. We have requested additional video surveillance from businesses in the area. We, we'd like to talk to Mr. Kennedy again. 
We continue, we continue to get tips of sightings. Uh, but as information comes in of, of people that potentially know things, we're going out and talking to them. So we still have a lot of leads to follow and we will continue to bring those in, prioritize them and send those out um, to investigators to be accomplished and then report back. And at some point we have to pause and prep reports. We have been working so fast and this investigation has been rolling on so fast. We haven't had time to type any reports. We have a lot of typing to do. So let me ask you with all the media in the room, how do you want us to proceed? Anyone that has any information about the, uh, the murder or the disposal of the bodies after the murder or Mr. Kennedy's location is asked to contact Omagi police or their local authorities. Um, we can be contacted at 918-756-3511, or we have set up a tips email at tips at okmcity.net. All right, thank you, folks. Thank you. Thank you.